Hello everybody, welcome to Rockabilly Rumble, the interviews, and today we got Rumble King. Take it away, boys! One, two, one, two, three! Billy Rumble, the interviews. I'm Johnny Hatton from the Brian Setzer Orchestra. We're coming to you from the Hamel Bar Barbershop and Apothecary from beautiful downtown Thousand Oaks, California. And today we're featuring the band Rumble King. And then he was fine. <laughs> then he was I almost said the Rumble Kings. No, no, it's Rumble King. That's, That's right. right, it is. Which yeah. one of you is the Rumble King? Well, that, that would be Jesus Christ himself. Bless <laughs> his heart. Bless his heart. And this is a Sunday, <laughs> so we all skip church, right? Well, yeah, I got, not me. I got up at 7. Yeah, you were there. Was Good there. for you. <laughs> so, um, when, when was the band formed? Uh, I guess. When was that? I'm sure you've had personnel changes. Well, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19 years ago, 18, 19, 19 and a half years ago. Yeah. 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 1996. And who, who was the founding father, if anyone? My name's Aaron Daly. I started playing piano and hanging out with this guy. We've known each other since we were 13 and we decided oh to get in the a rock and roll band. We've gotten kicked out of every single school we attended together. <laughs> 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 That's um, it wasn't our fault. So. It started with punk rock days and then... Yeah, and then we got into blues and American roots music, and we pushed it forward and met met the rest of the guys, and that that story is history. But you guys groove hard. It's a great sounding man, um, Bill. You uh, 
All right, you are also a famous drummer amongst the rockabilly circuit, having played with the Blasters. Tell us all about a little bit about that. Okay, I started playing drums when I was uh, 14 or something like that, and um, met Phil when I was 15. Phil Allen from the wow. of course, the now famous Blaster, the Blaster, the Blaster, <laughs> Phil Allen, <laughs> and. Uh, it's such a long story, John, yes. you know, well, and then boom, here I am. There you are. <laughs> uh, well, here I, mean, I am, too. You know, I know you only got five minutes, so, you know. Well, you know, he still, boom, boom, he still plays with the black. You know? Yes, I knew that. So, so, tell me about one of your the most horrible blaster gig you ever did. Well, you want to hear a horrible time. blaster show. Last night, right? <laughs> no, it's um, uh, blasters... At, at in Texas on the very second uh, Willie Nelson's Farm Aid thing, but now they have it in Texas. Right. And we showed up with Hollywood Fats, right? And Fats was on Tussinex, and he was unable to be a human being anymore. <laughs> and, but he still played guitar like a champ, but he was rocking back and forth and almost falling over each time, and we kind of chunked it a little bit. And Johnny broke... Four bass strings. <laughs> Fats broke all the strings off his car. He never breaks strings. He had his second guitar. Johnny couldn't find strings. <laughs> Phil started breaking strings. And we're on team, you know, like it's farm aid. <laughs> Willie's over here, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And then, you know, Fatty slept uh, for three days. <laughs> and he got some more Tessinex. What is Tessinex? It's good you don't know that. A clueless a young kid from an upper class, the suburban. Well, oh, forget about it. I don't, all, don't worry about that. All you, you got to do, do is never mind. Mind. Yeah. all you got to do is go to a clinic and convince the doctor <laughs> okay. that you're on, you're a musician on the road, and you're doing some singing. And you've been really having a lot of trouble coughing up right. clams lately, and you can't <laughs> cough up clams on stage. But you got to be able to give him. The real cough, you know, the one that convinces every doctor <laughs> that's had it down, you know. And well, what's worked in the past? And he'd say something like, oh, Tusinox or, you mean Tusinex? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I think that's it. And then he'd get his little jar. He'd go to the next clinic in a cab, and the next clinic he'd get, oh, you man. know, like, he'd get like some ounces of that <laughs> and it's pure synthetic opium. Oh. It's for now dying, dying can uh, lung cancer patients oh. to ease their pain. It's good to know. And he just drink it down like a he said it was peach smoothie. And Johnny yeah. managed to get the labels off those bottles and stick them on the back of his upright bass and his oh. electric bass. And they were covered. When Fats was in the band, he had his bases were covered with those things. That's cut Tuss and X. That cuts and, down on and feedback. And Tussie. Tussie. Aunt Tussie. You asked. Well, there you go. <laughs> We're talking too much. All right. Tell me about the most horrible Rumble King gig. We love these horror stories. I don't know about moving that piano up that ladder on the boat. Yeah, we played that, a yacht. The, that's oh, the one. That's the one. yacht. You know. Oh. And, uh, uh, the marina or something. They wanted us on the second level of the yacht. Yeah. The private the, party. What do they call those? Well, tell the reasons. audience why it's... Of course, we bring the real piano to every show. There, thank you this very much. Okay. Uh, we're good at 500 pounds, you know, it's happening. It's and then, wait, they got to the top of the stairs with the piano, and there was a piano. It piano was already on there. Oh. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's the way it always goes. <laughs> we can't let you guys use that piano. Just, we're pushing yeah. the piano up to 45 degrees. That piano. That must we finally get it up there. 60 degree stairs. Yeah. Like, oh. not stairs, ladders. It's a ladder. It's a, ladder. It's a boat it's ladder. ladder. It's you know? ladder so that would have been the one. Uh, You're <laughs> dry humping that thing. Oh, yeah. Ridiculous. Well, uh, then we get up there, piano. Push, push it Thanks. up. Push it up. I've had gigs where we had to push a Hammond organ up some stairs. Hammond organ. That's for what's the You have to hit a piano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, right, you uh, died, right? Final question is uh, how uh, how long should your pants cuffs be on the? Well, I, I don't understand the question. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how I'm short your band legs are. Four and a half inches you know? there. I see. Uh, Depends how many times you've washed your Levi's. Well, you, you just go into the, the store. They're going to get shorter. You, you know? buy a pair of Levi's. It don't matter what size it is. <laughs> If you want a single cuff or a double roll cuff, right. or even works. a triple roll, you don't have to think about it too much. You know? So that whole thing started, you know, wearing your big brother's pants. They were too long. You had to cuff them. That was a fifties thing. Wasn't I didn't know. My, that. my thing was, now I, I got big cuffs when I was a kid, so I put my marbles in there, <laughs> and both my cuffs were full of marbles because I was a marble shark on the playground. 
<laughs> and ran a gambling. Dude, you never family. told me that, huh? Man, all these yeah. times. <laughs> He's a marble shark. All this time. I had my marbles in my cuffs, so the teachers wouldn't see my marbles, and I finally got sent to the principal for, you know, stealing marbles from kids. I had a run in a game. <laughs> we don't let them put cuffs in there too much. <laughs> you steal something else. <laughs> marble shark. So it's all about being a marble and, shark. You know, That's why. Look yeah. out. I'll kick your ass right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to say this. My son is a... He lost his marbles a while ago, actually. My son's a designing software, and he and a partner decided to create a digital mar marble game. So look for that. All right? well, you, nah, that ain't no good. You got to play. <laughs> it's like playing baseball. You got to get out and, and hit the ball. You yeah. Know? You can't I visualize know. it. Know. Kids don't want to go outdoors. No, no, they don't. Study. Oh, really? <laughs> well, <laughs> poor, poor kids, you know. <laughs> You gotta that keep. that wraps us to, for today. Let's Why the Rumble King, ladies and gentlemen? Let's get it started, man. These guys have seen it all. King, wave goodbye, guys. Right, right, see you guys. See you. Take it slow. Bye now. Take care. Two and three. Thank you.